Hey there friends, it's Megan Andrew and I'm so excited to be participating in the November 2024 Spellbinders Club blog hop. Today I am creating with the Better Press of the Month for November 2024 and this one is so fun. I've decided to look at it in a different way to create a scene building card. To start off, I'm using the November Better Press Club, which is called Paint the Town. It has four paint swatches there, a hooray sentiment with a coordinating die, and some smaller sentiments also with coordinating dies. The fun thing about this set is that there is a registration template, which is a sheet of acetate that has the outlines on there, so that you can line these up perfectly to create a painted background. And that's what I'm using today. So I have my better press system there. I have my template already on my platen and I am going to start creating this background. Now I'm using a piece of better press card. This is a cotton card panel that is specially designed for the better press. I'm holding that down with some best ever craft tape just in the corners. So that is ready to go. Next, I'm going to put my paint swatches on, matching them up with the lines on the template. Now, I am using some adhesive. It's a dotted adhesive runner, and that is because I have found that I am very heavy-handed when I put my ink on. And so sometimes I will find that I will move my better press plates a lot. And so by doing this, I'm making sure that these are going to stick to my template and not move if I have to re-ink them. So I found that this works for me and then I can just clean off my template afterward. You can give this a try without any tape, but you can also use tape if you are heavy handed like I am. So now I have three of the better press plates lined up with my template and now I'm grabbing my ink. You can see here that I'm using a few different inks and that's because I wanted all of my paint swatches to be blue. Now I'm starting out with Concord and Ninth Harbor. Now this has a foam applicator and I found that when you're using foam application with your ink, it's better to swipe it across. Next, I'm using the Spellbinders Better Press ink and this one is better to, to kind of pounce and move around on the plate like so. This one has like a linen applicator, so it doesn't go on the same way as the Concord and Ninth ink. Next, I'm using Gina K ink. This has a similar type of uh, linen, but I find that it's easier to swipe it as well, just a bit more of a heavy hand. Okay, so with those three in place, I'm going to put my plate in on top and run that through my better press. And here is the result, three different blues that look really nice with each other on that background. Because I'm using some dye-based ink, I'm going to make sure my template is wiped off and clean before I move my plates to continue creating this better press background. The reason why I'm using all blue is because I had the idea to create an artistic sky to create a scene using my small die of the month. So I'm just going to keep building this background until I cover up the whole thing. Every time I move my plates, I wipe down my template just to ensure that I don't have too many ink smudges. Look at how that's turning out. Okay, this is the final time I'm running these three colors through the better press. I'm using my platinum six here with my better press platform and look at how that turned out. Now I just have two empty spaces that I will fill with the fourth plate. For this one, I'm using better press ink again in a different blue. And this one is going to look great on the card front. Now it's time to reveal the full panel. Look at how pretty that is. And I love the mix of blues on here. I think this is going to create the perfect artistic sky to create my scene. 
Before I move on, I'm going to mat this onto blue cardstock from Spellbinders. So I want to make sure that I have a nice little border. I'm only cutting off an eighth of an inch all the way around so that there is still a tiny bit of white showing. I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to the card front so that my panel is ready to go. Before I put my better press away, we need a sentiment. So I'm choosing the Hooray sentiment and I'm inking that up with Cosmic Sky Better Press ink. I'm using a scrap piece of better press paper here and then running that through my Platinum 6. Next, I will use the coordinating die and my Platinum Scout machine to cut out that sentiment. I just love having the coordinating dies with these better press plates. This kind of single sentiment is perfect for the Scout. I love being able to put this on my desktop instead of my bigger Platinum 6 because it's just a lot easier for me to turn around and grab when I need to cut out something small. Okay, next I'm grabbing the small die of the month. Now, this is such an awesome die. Not only do you get balloons, but you get cute critters and a banner. I just love it. So I've chosen the sloth, and I cut him out in a tan paper from Spellbinders, and I'm just putting on his face there in a lighter ivory paper. Then I'm backing his eyes with this little piece, which I cut out of black. Spellbinders makes this part so simple. Next, I'm putting on his cute little pink cheeks. And then I'm going to attach the balloon strings just behind his head. Because I have that all blue background, I wanted to use some of the warmer hues to add my balloons. So I'm using a coral color, a peachy color and a nice buttery yellow and that will look really great against that blue background. Now the sentiment is sized perfectly just to slide underneath of his little arms so it looks like he's holding on to the sentiment and floating up in the air and I just love that. So I glued that sentiment down to my little sloth. Now, because I want this to appear more like a sky, I'm adding in some of the die cut clouds from the small die of the month. And I think they look really great with those white strips on the background and really contribute to the idea that this is a sky. And having a triangle of three clouds makes my sloth stand out more since he's in the center of that triangle. To help him stand out a bit more, I'm using one millimeter foam adhesive from scrapbook.com to adhere him to my card front. This will add a little bit of a shadow and help him stand out from that background. The last thing I added were some Aura Opalescent sequins, and these are my favorite Spellbinder sequin because I feel like they just go with everything. I just put five of these around my sloth and the balloons. I just love how this card turned out. I'm so glad I gave this a try. It took me a while to figure out the right combination of blues to create the sky, but I'm so glad I did. Even though they may have been designed as paint swipes, I hope this inspires you to look at your stamps and your better press plates in different ways to get creative with your cards. There are only a few days left to subscribe to get the November Club Kits from Spellbinders, which I highly recommend. You can cancel at any time. You get different, very unique sets every month, and there's so many to choose from. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure to check out all of the products that I use to create this card in my video description below by hitting the more button. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to see more card making videos from me. Happy creating!